Hi everyone, in this week's dispatch video we are talking about redundancy scoring and in particular the question of exactly how much an employee is entitled to see. So in some exercises we are looking at selecting uh, one or a number of candidates from a wider pool. We will generally look at a scoring exercise which measures individuals on certain things like skills, qualifications, experience, adaptability, flexibility possibly um, objective data such as disciplinary record and uh, absence record. Um, once we've applied those scores and talked to the employee about their score, uh, the question often arises as to whether we are obliged to disclose the scores of other employees as well, uh, particularly those who have scored more highly. Now, there is no concrete answer uh, according to case law or employment law um, practice notes or guidance notes generally, um, what we have to do is act reasonably during the consultation exercise uh, and an employee has to be given sufficient information to challenge the scores given in any particular case. Uh, now there is a, a fairly old case which states that a failure to provide information about the scores of other employees might render the um, dismissal unfair. I would prefer to um, look at uh, providing enough information so that the employee knows how their own score was constituted and making it clear that that very same criteria has been applied uh, to other individuals as well. Um, if an employee goes further and, and manages to um, provide comprehensive information that would suggest the other scores have been applied unfairly, we might revisit that, but again, I think it would be very dangerous to start disclosing scores of other employees. Uh, they will then uh, open up the same argument and it can become quite a mess. Uh, what we do need to ensure is that as far as possible, the criteria on which we're scoring employees is based on uh, as much data uh, as is available. Now, uh, in some cases, such as disciplinary records, length of service, absence records, the information is going to be very factual. But what you would hope to see in the case of skills, qualifications, experience and performance on the job is appraisal records, training records, uh, in the case of flexibility, details of special projects or additional overtime that an employee has picked up. Um, because if an employee does complain they've been unfairly dismissed, the paper trail of identifying how those scores have been arrived at uh, is absolutely crucial. If you need any help on this topic or indeed anything employment law generally, please do get in touch. Visit the website chadwicklawrence.co.uk or email employmenthub at chadlaw.co.uk. Thank you.